Hello, everybody. Good morning. My name is Tiago Rajan, and I'm a network engineer with AeroWire Networks. Today, we will walk through the procedure of uh, placing a clay pass service in debug for log collection. So to do so, first log into clay pass policy manager. And once you're logged in, navigate to administration, server manager, log configuration. Now, if you have a cluster of ClayPass nodes, and if you want to change the default logging level of a subscriber, you've got to choose that subscriber from the dropdown. Now, from this dropdown, you can choose a subscriber and then make the required changes. Otherwise, if it's just one node, you don't have to touch the select server dropdown. And what you should do is, depending on which servers you want to debug, right? So you may want to start debugging for your own analysis or uh, per tag request. So you know which service you want to start debugging. So from the dropdown, choose the respective service. Now for this example, I'll choose Radius Server. Right. Now, this Radius Server, it has only one module here. So you can just change the logging level for this one module and hit save. But there are services with multiple modules. Right. Policy Server, for example. Now, you can either change the logging level on a per module basis, but it's very rare that you would do it. So most often you would just change the default logging level for all your modules to debug, and then you would just save. Now, once I save, ClayPass will start logging debug information for the policy manager service and you can replicate the problem so that the debug information is stored for that problem. And then you can collect the logs and provide it to TAC. Now, a very important thing to keep in mind, after you've replicated the problem and collected the logs, you should always remember to come back here and hit the restore defaults button so that you disable debug logging. Because if you leave debug logging on, it's gonna increase the IO on your server and also may end up taking up extra disk space. So ensure that you always remember to turn it off. And I have a different video that uh, describes the procedure of uh, collecting the logs from ClearPass. You can refer to that video if you'd like on how to collect logs after replicating the problem. Thanks for watching.